Nuclear magnetic resonance is a powerful and widely applicable technique. It's used in hospitals to take three-dimensional images of the body, in chemistry to identify the composition and structure of new molecules, and in mining to assess the potential for finding specific minerals through rock analysis. Now, a team of researchers from UNSW has discovered a method to perform nuclear resonance using electric fields instead. This method, applied to a single atom, has been elusive for over half a century. Like the word says, magnetic resonance requires magnetic fields to control and detect the nuclei. That's how it's always been done. And it works, but the problem is that magnetic fields are very difficult to confine to a small space. So if you wanted to act on a single spin, for example, for quantum computing or to make an atomic scale sensor, chances are that the magnetic field would spread out so much that it will affect a lot of other spins in the vicinity. Now, actually, in 1961, one of the pioneers of magnetic resonance called Nico Bloombergen predicted that it should be possible to control certain kinds of nuclei with electric fields. And then he and a number of other people spent the next decade trying to demonstrate this nuclear electric resonance, but the experiment turned out to be really challenging and so the whole idea was practically abandoned. So for the last 50 years, the idea of nuclear electric resonance has been essentially forgotten. So last year, we were working on an experiment to demonstrate quantum chaos in a single nuclear spin. And the experiment didn't quite go the way we expected and it really puzzled us for quite a long time. And it wasn't until we um, discovered that the microwave antenna was accidentally damaged that we knew what was going on in this device. We found that we had actually turned the magnetic antenna into an electric antenna. And in doing so, we rediscovered something that Nicolas Bloomberger predicted 58 years ago. The research team fabricated a silicon nanoelectronic device in which a single antimony atom was introduced by ion implantation. The device contains a high-frequency antenna designed to deliver an oscillating magnetic field to the nucleus to perform nuclear magnetic resonance. Here, for the first time in a single atom, the researchers showed that the nucleus can be controlled by the electric field produced by a small electrode on top of the silicon chip. The reason why this works is actually quite profound. The electric field locally distorts the atomic bonds around the antimony nucleus and forces the nuclear spin to reorient itself. So it's a truly local microscopic effect as opposed to the effect of a magnetic field that comes from a big far away antenna. So now that we've demonstrated nuclear electric resonance, we can create new quantum electronic devices that operate solely on electric fields. That means we don't need to route big magnetic antennas through these tiny devices. This gives us a great advantage if we want to integrate single atomic spins with nanoscale quantum electronic devices, either for quantum computing applications or for real curiosity-based research, such as studying the interplay between classical chaos and quantum dynamics. These single atom quantum devices could be used as atomic scale probes for electric and magnetic fields, or even they could be used as local atomic scale sensors for mechanical strain. What began as an investigation into the foundation of quantum chaos is now helping the development of atomic scale sensors and easily controlled quantum bits. Yet another example of how curiosity-based research can result in unexpected technological progress.